a TikTok video about Beyonce that led to students protesting and people around the country sounding off. An Indiana State University student's social media post hit a national nerve, but not in a good way. I'm sorry, but if you're black, you're not country. We've chosen not to use her name and blur her face. I beg your pardon? You don't find that suspicious? The controversial video was posted right after Beyonce dropped her country album on March 28th. I know you were raised in the country, or your grandparents were, I guess, your great granny and grandpas, but they was picking, okay? They wasn't planting. This story has been brought to you by Racism. Racism is accepted wherever true Americans are. All right, so obviously they got me messed up. Um, what we're not going to sit up here and do is uh, make or try to formulate some other type of narrative, knowing the fact that she decided to go on this little ramp and she wanted to state this about not just Beyonce, but also other black artists and black people in general, because she feels that country belongs to a certain type of people. So we're going to just bear with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to replay the original video so that you can fully see her face and her expressions and how it is that she was stating everything that she stated, unlike how the media decided they wanted to put it out. You're not country. I, I don't care. Like, it, and I wish I meant that in the nicest way. But like, babe, I know you were raised in the country or your grandparents were, I guess, your great granny and grandpas, but they was picking, okay? They wasn't planting. Just keep that in mind. They wasn't making money. They was getting sold for money. Yay, country. This girl's name is Asa Blanton. She's a student of Indiana State University and she's a nursing major. This and she's a nursing major. She's a nursing major. And that's the same woman you want to bring home to your mother. That's the same type of woman y'all can't wait to bring home to your damn mother. ISU student Imani Marks says the school was slow to respond. The zero tolerance policy is not there. So I don't want this to be a situation that goes away. Hey, if it's not your cup of tea, like maybe you don't even like country music, what's not okay is if you think the problem is that black people don't belong in country music. I don't know who this black guy is who's hosting it. It's supposed to be country music. No offense. I mean, y'all have hip hop. I'm not against you, but you're up here being like, the melanated people invented country music. At the CMT. We was making country music in Wakanda before Johnny Cash and Merle Haggard done stole the black man's country music. Country music's different. Country music's different. It's not Wakanda. Allowing this kind of stuff to be put out into the world and then just acting as if it didn't happen or ignoring it and not addressing it in very strict terms begets more of that. I want this kind of example, this situation to be an example so that the school knows that there are minority students here who care and who are being, their lives are being interrupted. Two days later. A message from Indiana State University. As stated in our university mission statement, Indiana State University has a long history of valuing diversity and inclusiveness on our campus. We are aware and continue to monitor the situation involving comments published online by an Indiana State University student. The student's comments do not align with our institutional values. We reaffirm our commitment to fostering an inclusive environment. Indiana State University takes incidences of this nature seriously and is committed to ensuring a welcoming environment for everyone another one the longer version we want to provide further emphasis on the commitment of indiana state university to promote a supportive environment for all of our students upon learning that a racist video from an indiana state university student was posted online we immediately worked with the vice president for student affairs to identify the student communicate directly with the student leaders, and strategize how to prioritize students' well-being and safety. Racism, hate speech, and discrimination of any kind is deplorable and indirect contradiction of Indiana State's mission, vision, and values. The students' comments in the video in no way represent the ideals and goals of Indiana State University. We are appalled by the sentiments expressed in the video and condemn 
those comments in the strongest terms. This video impacts the entire campus community, but it deeply affects students from marginalized groups. Make no mistake, we hear you, we see you, we support you. We have been and will continue to work with you. We are aware of the rampant misinformation spreading online. It is critical to emphasize that under federal law, the privacy of students, due process, and actions taken by the university and its employees cannot be shared. As a state-funded institution, we operate and respond within the guidelines established by the state and federal law. As the semester ends, please know that your well-being and academic success as a student are of the utmost importance to us. So in front of your face, what the media has done is sheltered a racist, somebody who is very discriminatory, somebody who, who believes that black people uh, do not belong in country and are not country. And the only way that you're a country is because they made you country through way of slavery and all of these other types of things by being sold. And her own people, including the model minority, decided that, hey, we need to really give her privacy. We need to give her space. We need to make sure that she is protected and sheltered. She does not need to be responsible or held accountable or be made to acknowledge the wrongdoings or the wrong type of sentiment or comments and how that may, you know, evolve into something greater because she has a voice on social media. No, 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 no. Let's hide her face. Let's give her privacy. But just like I have talked about and proven before, this is how the media works. They will make sure to protect their own, their own children, their own fathers, their own sons, their own mothers and grandmothers and family lineage at any moment in time that somebody's actions may reflect negatively on the group. They will make sure to put an asterisk. They will make sure to put an and. They'll make sure to say that this person, they'll make sure to separate that. But while also doing that, they'll make sure to cover this person and to give them protection. Now, do you think that they would do the exact same thing if somebody black in America did this to a, another group out there? No, no, no. They're not trying to hide the student's face. And I don't want people to understand this is a full fledged grown woman. This is, we're, you're not dealing with somebody who was a teenager that just got literally into stepped out of high school into college this is a whole grown woman who decided to go online on social media set up her camera and her lighting put on whatever little bit of eyeliner that she got straighten up her hair just a little bit and sit in a position that she's sitting there just to formulate this video and make that statement and this is why there needs to be a heavy emphasis on alternate types of media because whenever you have something like this that will take place, the media will do what is in the best interest for the reflective majority. They won't do this for the minorities out there. They'll do it for the overall reflective majority, which is them. They will protect their own. They will shelter their own. They're literally showing you this in front of their face. So just pay attention. If the media is willing to do this to a person who was wrong from the get go, what else do you think the media will hide, won't specifically show you, won't specifically talk about or put directly out there? If they're willing to do this to somebody that we know speaks and thinks like this, what do you then think they will do with very important information that everybody should know? Again, you should take some time, let that simmer, sit and think about that.